Hello, today's video is on stock number 34757MP, the single zone thermostat. We've had a couple of customers a little confused on how to, how to program it, so I thought I'd make a quick video. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Once you've done it, I think it'll, you, you'll be able to program it in the future. Uh, first off, you notice it comes in the little plastic box uh, with no little mounting ears. It is not waterproof, so you must uh, protect it. Uh, there's about a one meter length of uh, wire with a little metal cap to protect the thermostat for measuring temperature. Uh, you simply use this alone and it starts automatically displaying the actual air temperature. Uh, this is in Celsius only. Uh, that's, that's the only version of Celsius. Uh, it's powered off of 12 volts DC, probably plus or minus 2 volts. Uh, and be careful with your power source. Be sure to use a good regulated power source. Uh, make sure you don't get too much too much ripple, uh, too unregulated of the power supply. Uh, what's also different about this from the other thermostats we sell is the uh, output. The output has a relay in it, but it actually switches the input power to it on or off. So right now when you see this little light on, that's the relay indicator. I'm powering this off my benchtop power supply about 11 volts, so you have 11 volts of DC coming out of here right now. So keep that in mind when you're programming it. Try not to short it out, protect it uh, while you're doing that. In fact, I'll do a quick little cross promotion. This is our nice little popular talking digital multimeter. And see if I can make a good contact with that. So as you can see right now with that LED indicator on, the, there is voltage out. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get into some programming. Uh, to know where the set points are, you simply, this on the up arrow you press, it comes factory set at 25 degrees Celsius. Leave it alone for a few seconds. It goes back to displaying air temperature. Press the down arrow. That is the other setting at 40, it comes factory set at 40 degrees Celsius. When uh, this one is, is lower than, uh, than the, this setting, that's what's called heating mode. And what that basically means right now is it, I would have to get this up to 40 degrees Celsius for this relay to turn off. I just, it's a good, good, good time to learn how to reprogram the setting po set points for the temperature. Uh, to reset this, press and hold. And when it starts flashing, you can use up, the up and down arrows to run this set point. Is it up to 100 and how many? This is 110 degrees C. Let's see what happens over 100. See if it just moves the decimal point. Yes, it just simply moves the decimal point. Okay. And we will go start going down. And it says the ranges are to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, but I want to set this at about 30 degrees Celsius just so I can show show it operate how the operations how it works. And you take single steps. Yeah. All right. So this setting once it stops flashing. That's actual air temperature. Uh, upper end is 30, lower is 25. So this is the heating mode. So when I warm this thermostat up to over 30, it should turn the relay off. Okay, and at this point, uh, there's no, no power to our, our output leads. That is the heating mode. Now let's let's work with the, the cooling mode. Let's just do the, the opposite. The, this, this limit was at 25. We're going to press and hold. And we're going to run that to 30. We'll make that 30. Okay, and let it uh, go back to displaying temperature. And we'll lower this setting down to 25. Close enough. 
Okay, so this is the cooling mode, so we'll have to get above 30. Relay turns on, and the relay will stay on until we get down to, uh, what is it, 24, what do I have that set at, 24? Okay, there it turns off. So it's cooled off enough. Once again, once it goes back up to the 30 degree C setting, and it turns back on. Okay, as easy as that. Hopefully this answers your questions. Uh, if you have any more, let us know, please. Thank you for watching our video.